Good afternoon, Floss Tube. This is Mandy coming to you with another update. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. Today is Saturday, March 6th, and I'm here for a quick update. Not a whole lot to show. I actually have one finish, I have one start, and I have one whip and the tiniest bit of haul. So, this very well may be a quick one that you can watch and move on to more Floss Tube. Uh, so, um, today, or this past week has been kind of a slow week stitching wise hence not really having a whole lot to show um there was actually two evenings that i didn't even stitch at all didn't even pick up a needle and uh you know and that's okay so um but i've made up for it last night in uh getting a good good start on a project and so i'm excited about that one so might as well go ahead and get right into it shall we um so the finish that I have, I um, showed it last week saying that I was bound to have it as a finish this week, and I did. Um, I actually finished it on Saturday last week after I uh, did my video. So um, it is Hands On Designs Waffle Lot. I stitched this for the Waffle Lot sale on uh, Instagram with uh, Bendy Stitchy, and there were a couple of others. So... I, um, this was such a fun piece. I did not do the, like, edge pieces or the backing of it, even though pieces were there. I have no, uh, um, interest, I guess, in making it anything like that. I don't have the skills to sew something together like that, so. Um, this will probably be something that I add into my stitching journal. And here we go. This was such a fun little piece to, uh, stitch. Um, last week I had pointed out that I had just realized that I made an, um, error with stitching love, and so I had to, um, pull out the L and the O, restitched it, didn't take long at all, and, um, got that finished up. So this is, um, all of the called for DMC, and, um, it is stitched on a piece of, um, it was from a color and cotton crab bag, um, it's really more pink than it's brown, like it's showing brown, but it's really more of a pink in person. So I don't know exactly what I can do to make it actually appear, but it's it's really more pink. It's not as pink as my berry bird that I remember showing you once, um, maybe a couple times, but it's it's definitely more pink than it is brown. So it was a fun little piece. I did do the whole, um, there's a green stitch all the way around. It's probably part of the, like, adding your layers together, but I thought it was cute adding it all together. That was a lot of pink, but it was fun. It went really quickly. Um, those little pieces are unstitched. Got those cute little flowers. And yeah, so love you a waffle lot. Hands on design from, um, this was in, the pattern was an exclusive in the, um, Date with your stitching, Black Needle Society box. So, um, yeah. Fun little piece. And so last night, I decided I was ready to um, get a new start. This was another um, Black Needle Society. I believe it's an exclusive, at least for a year, both pieces for a year. Uh, this was in the uh, Naughty or Nice. I got the, it was the Christmas Advent box that they did. Um, one of the 25 uh, day or the 12 day, like combined of that. Um, I did the 12 day box and so I uh, was able to get that. And I am using all the called for colors and the uh, material, material because it all came as part of the, um, that kit. And of course now Stitches wants to go zoom zoom. Too bad I'm not sitting on my couch so that you guys can see her. Um, but Bendy Stitchy, which is, um, Winter Witches, adore this piece right from the get-go. I knew I had to stitch it. <laughs> so stinking cute. And, uh, so yeah, last night I decided it was time to start this because I pre-ordered her Spring Witches from, uh, Nashville, not Nashville, the Needlework Expo, which is going on today. I hope they're all having so much fun with it. I cannot wait to hear the recaps and, uh, you know, how that event went. And, um, so yeah, I did pre-order Winter Witches, um, or this is Winter Witches. I pre-ordered Spring Witches from Abby Topknot Stitcher Shop. And, um, I'll show you guys all of that when, uh, that comes in. I didn't get, I got, um, Bendy Stitches Spring Witches. I got Works by ABC Reflection, I think it is. And then I got the, um, Sulky 
bread pack that they're doing for the moo the merrier um i've been wanting to try sulky and so i figured what better way to um it may be on back order so that may be a little bit so anyways winter witches my new start um this is stitched on 18 count picture this plus in mirage and isn't he adorable so still have it in the hoop because like I said I did um was working on it last night so I started this last night at like it was after dinner so eight o'clock ish maybe and so I did all of this last night I did stay up quite uh late stitching and actually there's a pretty good view you can tell the variegation in the kettle uh, that um slight variegation on that but oh the um snowman body oh, there we go is in a 12 and so hard to pick up the sparkle but that is all in a 12 and um uh, it this stitched up so quickly i mean like i said i stayed up until maybe midnight or so but maybe what four hours worth of stitching um so not not bad and it was just so fun and so all of this is a 12 you can kind of see a little bit of the sparkle from there this needle minder is from um gina's unique boutique um it might have been from her facebook group um but yeah so the material and the um pattern and the color and cotton came in the um in the box dmc i already had on bobbins um this is isn't that adorable uh this was a lucy beam pattern i uh shared it in a couple of videos ago um that i had from michelle bendy's d stash page i uh, ended up winning the um it was a bag set and it came with this and the pattern that's actually for this so i decided to go ahead and put it on this i figured what how fitting you know which is and so then these are the color and cotton um threads so we've got cherry fizz very fun haven't used that one on this piece yet and we've got dark indigo so this was the um kettle and it is a uh, variegated light to dark there you go you can see some of the lighter and darker shades in there so that is and it's the snowman's buttons and then um oh i guess actually i did use some of this because this is in the scarf i was thinking i hadn't used cherry fizz yet but the scarf is cherry fizz and dracula and oh my gosh i love this red so pretty and then ultramarine i have not used this one yet that will be one of the um gals dresses and the candy cane so very fun shades of color and i cannot wait to see what colors will be called for in um the spring witches and i can add that to my collection too so that was my new start so one finish one start no ffos did not fully finish anything didn't uh have much of a crafty this uh, week this week i guess like i said it was just slow in terms of the uh, stitching so then the one whip that i have to share is my carolyn manning designs There we go. Um, Carolyn Manning Designs, Shooting Star, as you can see on there. Um, absolutely adore this piece. And uh, like I've said before, I'm using this for the Full Coverage Fanatics um, 21 and 21. I'm using it for the Book Shelf Challenge. I think I'm like maybe 2,000 stitches away from, a little more than 2,000 stitches from finishing February's outlander book so um before i can continue on um it's moving pretty quickly but still have a little ways to go and so here we go i'm working away on page four and i'm actually into page five quite a bit um because the cutoff was kind of right in the middle of this so um i like using the thread just continuing on um like i said because of using the um digital pattern um it's not pattern keeper but i just use my ipad that it's easy to kind of keep moving right along so um somewhere within the red i believe it is is the halfway point for the sides so 
moving right along. I uh, did the complete math so far and I'm just over 10,000 stitches out of the 21 and 21. So definitely good ways to go. I will not, um, the piece has more than 21,000 stitches left, but I anticipate it, there's not going to be a whole lot left after that. And so I'm hoping that means that I'll be able to actually complete this um, full project this year. So. And that is the one whip that I have to share. So um, I'll, I do have some uh, little plan to show here in just a second, but very quickly on the haul, I um, decided to get the Leo and Roxy purple threads that uh, Caroline from off the um, from Evertote um, off the grid needle art um, was selling, and um, I debated for a minute, but I decided nope, we need to get these in my life. <laughs> They're beautiful purples, so. Um, very t um, light lavenders. Uh, this one, where's my color name? Oh, Iris. There's a sticker right on there. Very pretty on that. And this one is Amethyst. Oh, so pretty. There we go. Now you can see the, there's definitely some lighter colors, lighter purple in there. And this one is Wisteria. Very pretty. Cannot wait to stitch with these. Um, my Funny Valentine. Uh, this one is actually quite a bit variegated. There's some pinks and purples and super, super pale purple in there. So, love that. And then this one is Vamp. And it's looking black. Um, I'm not, probably not even going to be able to, there we go, kind of right there in the knot. It does have some purples in it. it. It almost looks black, but it's quite purple. So I may have to use that in combination with uh, one of these other colors and do some kind of monochromatic type piece. Um, I didn't do the 2020 linens and thread stitch along but within each of those releases there was an ornament and so I did actually go through a couple weeks ago after um joy filled Annie was talking about it and um went and saved quite a few of those because I figured something like that will be perfect for getting some of these strong variegated uh threads so that's uh one of the plans that I not set in stone plans, no set plans of one I want to actually get them done. Um, but it's what I have in mind to start doing with some of these flosses. Uh, so one really quick thing uh, for a plan that I am actually going to start doing today. Um, the year in celebration, um, I think it's hands on design, right? Kathy Heberman? Um, they were published in the Just or, I'm sorry, Cross Stitch and Needlework magazines, uh, 2014. I know you can get the complete set, um, as an actual printed pattern, but I've already had the magazine, so might as well use them from here. Um, but doing the March, I've already completed February. I did January, February, April, and May. <laughs> I, I don't know why I ended up skipping over March completely. Um. But what I'm doing with these is they call for gentle arts, crescent color works. So I'm actually just going through my DMC boxes and just kind of figuring what would look good. I'm not even Googling what the conversion is. It is literally going through the box and picking out colors and saying, yep, this looks good. This looks good. Nope, we'll go with this one. Um, it's literally just a, it is not a one for one in terms of, Okay, so um, Huckleberry from Gentle Arts is this in DMC. No clue. Not Googling it. I'm just going through my DMC color boxes. So I did at some point. I don't know what that is. Right. So I did actually start it at some point a couple of years ago, but I never followed through with it. I don't even know what two shades of DMC this is. So it's going to be kind of where I want to start with. So I can at least try to see if I can find what I used for these two colors since they're used throughout the rest of it. Um, so that I can at least get, get March done. So, um, this is on my agenda for today. 
So I've got this little um, clipboard easel thing that I, metal easel that I had purchased from uh, Fat Quarter Shop. It was shown on the um, Stitching with the Housewives um, a while back. And so I bought that. And so I just kind of plan on cutting them down and just clipping them to that. Um, but this is stitched on a piece of 14 count, I believe. Yeah, that looks like 14. Um, Fiddler's Cloth, Ada. I just bought one of those like big rolls from uh, Joann's or whatever and cut it down um, to pieces just to stitch. And I'll just stitch these ones in hand. Um, although this one would definitely be big enough to put in a hoop. But, um, so yeah, that's on my agenda for today. So hopefully I'll have a finish for that next week. And then um, what I'd like to try to do for the rest of the pieces that I have left is um, kind of take a lesson from Erin Tumartini that she did with her um, some of her little monthly pieces that she did a year or two ago where she stitched it a month ahead so that it was ready to go for the next month. Um, so of course I've got until June now since I already have April and May done. Um, but I'd like to try to start getting to work on those. I know I've said this before and then I just put it aside and never do it. Um, because I'd like to have those actually, um, you know, kind of sitting out for once. So that is on my agenda for today. Who knows what I will stitch on tomorrow. <laughs> um, definitely, um, focus piece is my, um, Carolyn Manning. Love those colors. And, uh, so we'll see what else I get to. I'm definitely enjoying working on such small pieces, uh, like that, uh, Winter Witches. Uh, the finished piece is going to be like five by four inches so not big at all and um but af I think after working on my e as much as I so miss working on my eagles oh my gosh it is so weird to say that I miss working on my giant piece um from the eagles which I still need to get framed by the way um but I'm definitely enjoying working on smalls and you know seeing that finish and maybe getting things mounted in my little journal or um you know like this little piece so We'll see. Uh, I really appreciate everyone um, watching, liking, subscribing, commenting. I did go through this uh, comments this morning, so I am all caught up on comments now. Um, I am apologize for not getting back to people. I'm, I have no excuse. Just, um, but I promise I will do better on responding in a more timely manner. So, because I really love chatting with people, there's a number of people who um, comment each week, and so I really look forward to hearing from people. So I apologize for that. But thank you for uh, sticking around. If um, And for some reason, I keep uh, forgetting to mention this. But if you want to um, see kind of some um, stitching updates or um, little videos and pictures of stitches and little things that I have going on in my life, not much at all, um, check me out on Instagram, stitchingb82. Love to see you there. And um, if you follow me, then I'd love to be able to follow you back. So, um, yeah. So check me out over there. I hope everyone is doing well, staying safe, and um, spring is right around the corner here in Michigan. This coming week, we are actually supposed to have a couple of 60 degree, 60 degree days, which I am so pumped for. I am working from home still, and uh, so I'm so looking forward to being able to open that sliding door and have the fresh air, and I'm sure Stitches is as well, because her cat tree is sitting right in front of the sliding door, and so I know that she will enjoy being able to poke her head against that screen again and get some fresh air. So. Okay, we're going to quit rambling. I hope everyone is doing well. Keep stitching, and I will see you guys again next week. Take care.